guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is this soft, not soft, <laughs> it's like a bronzy golden cat shape smoky eye. I thought that this eye look would pair really nice with just a soft uh, matte pink, really light pink lip. So that is what I did. I didn't do a lot to the face, just a little bit of contour and blush. I just thought since the eyes are pretty kind of shimmery, I didn't want to add too much. I really hope you like this makeup look, so let's just go ahead and begin. So today I'm feeling a very full coverage and really matte look today. So I'm going to go with my Tarte Amazonian Clay. This is a full coverage foundation and it goes on kind of like a mousse, so you have to make sure to not apply too much because it could look pretty cakey. So, And I like to pat this on. Instead of swirling it, because uh, especially with a foundation like this that's very thick, if you swirl it, you're going to get a lot of marks, like uh, brush marks. So you want to make sure you're patting. And yes, this is a lot lighter than my skin tone, but um, with bronzer and everything, it will help even it out. After my foundation, I like to move on straight to my brows. And today I'm going to use my Anastasia Dip Brow. This is in the color Dark Brown. And then I'm just taking my Zoeva Winged Liner, the 317. Now I'm going to prime my eyelids using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm going to stick to my chocolate bar palette. I'm going to pick up this first color right here. It's like a uh, warm, really light, beigey brown color and it's a matte shade so I'm just going to be applying it with my what is this this is my taper blending the E40 from Sigma this is going to be our transition color so you're just applying this right above the crease Next color I'm going to pick up is this one right here. It's just a darker chocolate brown color. And then I'm taking my Sany 2.4. So any blending brush with a little tip to it. I'm going to focus this color right into my crease. I'm starting to get a little shaky, so it's hard for me to do my makeup because I've been sipping on coffee. So the next shadow that I'm going to pick up is this one right here it's a uh, bronzy light brown color and I'm just going to take it with a small uh, shader brush this is actually this is called the 226 smudger from Zoeva so with this one I'm just going to be applying it to the outer corners of my eyes the outer inner corners if that makes sense so so just like right here So you're leaving the center of your eyelids completely naked. Just go kind of around it. I also wet my brush. I forgot to mention that I wet my brush and picked up the product so it comes out a little bit more metallic-y. Every time I'm using a color like this with a little bit of shimmer, nine times out of ten I wet my brush. And then for the center, I'm actually going to apply this color right in here. So I'm just going to be picking up this color with a, a flat small shader brush. And I'm actually going to wet my brush. And I'm just applying it to the very center.
So I'm going to clean up right under my eyes before I move on to anything else. So I'm taking my Makeup Forever. This is the 12 flash color case. So I'm just going to conceal my under eyes or highlight using this. So I'm just going to pick up some of these highlighting colors. And also applying a little bit on my forehead. And I'm going to bring this down the bridge of my nose. And then a little on my chin. To blend this out, I'm just using my foundation brush. I'm going to set my eyes using my Anastasia Banana Powder. Before you set it, just run your finger through the creases. And then go ahead and quickly set it so it doesn't crease again. So I'm going to line my eyes taking a brown gel eyeliner. This one is from Napoleon and the color is called Earth. I'm starting really close to the lashes. I'm going with a brown because I just feel like the black will be a little harsh. I finished my eyeliner. As you can see, I just winged it out and I extended the inner corners a little, just making it more into like a cat shape. So I ended up just finishing this eye just because I had no idea what I was going to do. So pretty much I did the exact same thing I did to the top. So um, the first color that I took was this one right here, just with a small little pencil brush. And I just applied it. Let me get a different, um, different mirror. Okay, so I just applied it to the outer corners. So once I applied the bronzy shade right in the inner corners, in the outer corner, I'm going to take this color right here, the same transition shade, and I'm just picking it up with my 217 from MAC. I'm just going to use this to blend out the harsh edges and just smoke it out a little at the bottom. And then lastly, I'm just going to apply the light highlight color right in the very center. I'm going to move on to my mascara. This is my Lash Stiletto from Maybelline. So for my lashes, I'm going to be taking this style called Vixen from Socialize. I've been wanting to try a style like this for such a long time now, so I'm excited. I've, I've actually never worn these before, so let's see how they look. How do you take these out? And then the glue that I use, this is from Velour Lash, it's called the Lash Stick. So I'm going to take this light pencil from NYX. This is called the Wonder Pencil, and it's in the color light. And I'm going to just apply this to my waterline, mainly just in the very center where I have the highlight. And then with that brown pencil that I used to line my eyes, I'm going to apply that to the outer parts of my waterline. So I'm going to move on to my face now. I'm taking my Makeup Forever. This is the Dual Matte Foundation and I'm in the color 205. And I'm just going to apply this all over my face to set any of my uh, liquid foundation. You want to make sure to not apply some to the center of the face, anywhere where you highlighted. 
just kind of like around. And then going back into my Anastasia contour kit, I'm going to be picking up this shade right here. It's like a warm, um, this is the color Havana. And the brush I'm using is my Samey 1.5. I'm going to use this to warm up my face, so you don't have to be very precise with this. And then taking a smaller brush, I'm going to pick up this cooler shade in the center. And I'm going to use this to contour my face. So you want to use a brush that's a little bit smaller so you can get a more precise application. I'm applying it right in the hollows of my cheeks. With the same cooler shade, I'm going to use this to contour my nose. So I just finished prepping my lips. I just rubbed it with a little wet cloth and then I just put a little bit of uh, whatever was left from my brush that I used to apply my foundation. And once you've done that, you want to take your pencil. I'm using my NYX um, pencil in the color... Hmm. I kind of sharpened through it. All I can see is nude. I'm thinking it's nude pink or something like that. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips and then fill it in. So I'm going to tone it down using my Buxom lip. It's like a lip um, crayon type thing. It's in the color Undressed. And lastly, I'm going to take the color Desert Rose from MAC. I'm just very, very lightly going to tap this right onto my cheeks. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope that you guys found this look pretty easy. And I hope you like it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And then follow me on my social medias. And I'll see you guys in my next video.